Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. And this is going to be for your mid-monthlies for now until the end of April. We're going to cover love wealth and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you with your situation i want to thank you guys so much for liking sharing and subscribing and thank you to my members i really appreciate all of your support and if you guys would like a live person reading with me go to my website jenniferwalkers.com or check out the description box below all right so what are we going to talk about today first we're going to talk about your love life then we're going to talk about career and finance and then we're going to talk about what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you with their situation and if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both let's jump right in all right so what's gonna have my capricorn romantic love life give me nine cards my capricorn romantic love life give me nine cards my capricorns career and finance for now until the end of april show my cards if you see Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look here, Capricorn. All right, so the oh my goodness, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. See, this is this is why I tell my new readers. Okay, and I literally was feeling it when I came into your reading that it was going to be very optimistic, and then I did, I should have said something about it because I see the Sun card coming out. We're going to be going into a great period soon, Capricorn. So uh, everyone is actually. Um, and you can see you're already starting off. We got the sun card energy. There's success, there's happiness, there is enthusiasm. You guys are enjoying yourself. You're gonna be living in the moment soon. So get ready for some happy times coming up for you guys in your romantic love life. So let's keep going here. All right, so this is gonna be the first half. This is going to be the middle and this is going to be the end of the month here, the last three cards. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Someone is letting go of some kind of burdens, responsibility. Something's about to be accomplished. Something's about to be completed. Let's see what's going on here, Capricorn. Feels like you guys are in a very playful mood coming up here in your romantic love life. I feel like a lot of you guys are almost going to feel like your kids again. All right. So what's going to happen, my Capricorn, romantic love life now until the end of April? Show me crazy to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh my goodness. And then I hear, let the good times roll. Okay, I know this is, there's a song on that, isn't there? Let the good times roll. Do you guys know what the title of that song is? But what I heard was, let the good times roll. So someone is, you're about to be happy. There is somebody that you are like, wow, this person really brings a sense of happiness. They want to be with you. They're coming out as a mean person. Let's keep going here, Capricorn. All right, what's gonna happen, Capricorn's romantic love life now until the end of April? Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. All right, Capricorn, let's go for this. All right, there has been a state of confusion about this person or a lack of clarity, but I feel like you are about to get some kind of clarity, some kind of answers about the fact that they've been heartbroken and sad over you, okay? And, oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, two main people cards together. Thank you for that confirmation, Spirit. There's a little bit of a cautiousness, but you definitely both are feeling the same way about each other. Okay, so you both look at each other like you're, you're my person, you're my person. Okay, let's keep going. So there's a want to invest time in this situation, or there's been some time that's been invested here Something has accumulated here in this connection. They're about to show up at your door. There's about to be some good news here, okay? Okay, and this is a person that could be a, potentially a new person to you, a new love connection, but there's been this lack of clarity around it, okay? And a little bit of a cautiousness, defensiveness, because it's like, I don't want to get rejected. I don't, I'm really cautious about this. I'm, I'm, I'm like standoffish, but it looks like, yes, this person is going to be a new potential love connection for you guys. And you're about to be really happy here with the sun card energy coming out. Okay, so far so good. Let's cross our fingers, all right? All right, so let's keep going. So there's gonna be a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion here with the world card energy. About love, deep love here. So there is going to be accomplishment, completion here. Something's gonna come full circle when it comes to this love connection, right? This person, and also for some of you guys, there could be with the world card energy coming out, it can talk about there could be some traveling going on, okay? 
uh, because they're saying, showing me that this person is missing you and longing for your embrace once again. There's a deep, deep love here, true love here. It looks like you're going to get new perspective, new understanding. Okay, let's just clarify. Marie and Tarosa has been 14 years old. The page of sword does not mean the spying card. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I think I should make a short video on this, but anyway. It means new perspective, new understanding, okay? New perspective, new understanding, naivete. It can also, if you wanna talk about as far as people goes, it could be representing a child too, okay? It could represent naivete, like someone who's inexperienced, but also it could be new ideas, new perspectives. I feel like in this case scenario, since we line it up with the world card and this page of swords, through this traveling, this person had new perspective of you, saw you in a different light, and wants to make some power moves here because there's an awareness that there is love here. So it's like I have to be, I have to wait for things to play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. And I see that there's some advice being given, all right? We see a motherly energy around this, like some contemplation about the long term here. This person really wants to go after what they want here. Okay. Um, because of this isolation, this separation. We're single and available to pursue. Okay, let's bring it together so far. What do we see so far? And what else am I, what am I hearing here? Capricorn, you're gonna overcome this, these obstacles, blockages in your romantic love life. You've climbed the mountain. You're about to see the other side, okay? That's what I saw. I saw someone climbing up on a mountain and they were looking over and you could see the horizon. You could see it was clear. I see a rainbow. Wow, it's interesting because I used the rainbow for your thumbnail today. Um, I see a rainbow, which for me represents good signs in your romantic love life. A lot of great things happening for you guys. So I see there's a state of confusion and a cautiousness about new love. There's a person who's missing you and there's been an investment of time and there's waiting around to see what happens until they're single and available to pursue. I see the Emperor card here, which shows me this could be a boss, somebody you work with, or it could just be talking about, also it's the father of the Major Arcana, but I feel like it's a sense of control here by the end of the month, like somebody wants some kind of control. Like we feel like when we're in our like when we fall in love with somebody, we're in a vulnerable state, right? So we wanna get control over this. We're like, oh my God, I need control. Does this person love me? Do you love me? Do I love you? Like, you know, it's like wanting this control. And it's like, there's this communication that's gonna come out, all right? So this person, because they wanna get control over this, they want a sense of routine. They wanna know that there's a sense of form or structure here. They're gonna contact you. Because they've been doing a lot of soul searching here about the connection. Uh, a lot of deep, heavy soul searching here. There's a lot of, this person has a lot of self-doubt. They have a lot of worries here that they want to clear the air about. And it looks like there's a motherly energy around this too, or an older sister here. So you can see there's been a lot of soul searching going on about this relationship or wanting a relationship with you. Okay, so if we go further. What's the central theme saying here? It's saying, I want to invest time in this connection. What's been going on? There's been a state of confusion, a lack of clarity, and so there's been a lot of soul searching going on here about this connection. There's a cautiousness, defensiveness about getting hurt, and there's someone who strongly misses you and wants this relationship, feels that you are their soulmate, okay? So let's keep going here, Capricorn. There is a person around you that's concerned that you're gonna leave them out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles energy. And there's gonna be some type of loss here. So I see there's advice being gotten here about this situation or counseling. We're spending money to get advice or counseling, <laughs> okay? But the, you can see the final card is the wisdom card which talks about you are the wisest decision for me when it comes to love and romance. And it's right next to the relationship card. So let's go further. All right, I'm confused about what to do. I feel cautious here about this new love. I'm missing you, Capricorn, and I want to give this some time. I'm single and available to pursue, and I've been deeply thinking about you, and I do want a relationship because I feel like you're the best choice. So they may have just come out of a relationship for some of you guys, okay? 
so I see that there, there's going to be heart to heart conversations and power moves being made. Because someone is listening to their intuition and spiritual signs, there's no coincidence here. Things are coming into balance. We see this motherly energy and family conflict, which has caused some abrupt decisions to be made. But this person's like, I want to be more than just friends. And I see that there is an apology here about the uncertainty. So it seems like a family conflict is causing cause, cause some kind of issues. Now, the emperor can be a father. We do see a motherly energy here as well. So I want to be with you. I love you. And you're getting communication about this, all right? So you're going to hear about this. Um, I want to be with you. And we see this can be uh, you know, the boss, work, okay, authority figure. Okay, again, this can be like a fatherly kind of energy and a mother energy. Uh, they're going to show up. They're going to visit. And they're going to go after what they want. And it looks like they're going to get advice about it, how to, to overcome this situation with this family stuff. Because I see the central theme is there's new perspective, new understanding, and I want to accomplish something here and getting control over the situation. Because I see if you, if you lined it up like this, guys, okay? Happiness, success, when it comes to this heartache and sadness because there has been this patient energy and waiting to see what happens. This accomplishment, this completion, a new perspective, new understanding about this motherly energy or this advice. Power and control and worries and concerns are lost or over. So worries and concerns are over as the final card. Five of Pentacles is lost, but it's loss of what? Anxiety, worries, concerns because of the power move that was made. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice from my Capricorns when it comes to the romantic love life for their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Capricorns, let's take a look here. All right. Okay, so look to your inner strength. Okay, you're about to uh, be in physical close contact with your person. Listen to your heart. So it looks to me like stay strong. Yes, you're about to see your person and to follow your heart on this, okay? Because it seems like family conflict seems to be causing some issues in the connection, okay? Love who you are. So it's like know your value and your worth. Yeah, look at that. What does it say, Capricorn? It says there's true love here. It's true love here. And you're about to see miracles and blessings. Wow. Your reading is making me emotional, Capricorn. Oh my goodness. Very good reading. Very good reading. I told you. I told you guys when I came into this that I was going to be optimistic. Let the good times roll. All right. So let's go to your career and finance. Cross my fingers. Okay. Let's do this. All right. So you guys could be receiving money or having to give money. So let's see what this is about. There's something about this, this offer that you don't know if you want. Because first you would have to end another situation to uh, accept this. All right, so let me see what this is about. Okay. So it looks like there's some kind of meeting, uh, the public or a group of people. There is some self-doubt or concerns about competition. There's something about maybe having to move to a house or a location or something about house, home, real estate here for some of you guys. Let's go further on this. All right. What's going to happen with my Capricorn's career in finance now until the end of April? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, so there is a great conversation that you have and um, you're wanting to give to something that you really love. You were giving, you know, giving to this conversation because you really loved it. Um, and then you get communication, letter message documents. Um, and something from before, you did something from before. It's something about this real estate, this house, this home, the sense of stability. And um, you know that something has to be resolved from before, something from before in order to accept a situation. So 
What I mean by that, okay. It looks to me like you guys were speaking or talking about some things that you really love and it produces like an offer here, okay? You're not sure if you wanna accept the offer and uh, you still have to deal with um, you know, this career finance or this situation from before. It does look like um, you may have to defend your position when it comes to some other people coming up. And I see that there's something about buying, selling, purchasing to bring things together. There's the offer being presented, Ace of Wands, some kind of new potential offer, and someone who really needs your help. It looks like they want some kind of partnership or collaboration with you. So you're kind of like, instead of just ending what I already have, maybe I should just try to juggle things. All right, so it looks like you're gonna try to do two things at once there when it comes to this new situation. But you are feeling a little bit stuck about it, okay? So I got the King of Pentacles energy, it could be involving a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, or you're just realizing like, I need to make the wisest decision based on the long term, what's gonna have the most stability, stableness for me. And I have some concerns, because there's, see, there's a sense of sadness. Even though this is phenomenal luck, it's amazing, um, I gotta make a decision here, all right? I, got, I really just need to make a definitive choice. And I need to just end one of these offers, opportunities, because otherwise, I'm really gonna, I'm gonna have to disappoint some people or disappoint this, uh, or I'm gonna have disappointments about this. So you decide, I need to cut something out here, Knight of Swords energy. Um, and you go back to what you were doing before here because you feel like it's the wisest decision for you. So you were gonna try to kind of juggle both things at once, but then you decide, mm, I, I feel a little stuck. I feel like I can't keep my schedule straight. I, I'm not happy about it. So you decide mm, now I need to cut out this other thing because this is, this, is not, this is not really fitting the situation here. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And let's get you guys some advice. Very straightforward, actually. Okay. It's like you have to even defend your position, and uh, you know, you're like when it comes to this new situation, you have to defend your position. Like I don't want to. I really don't want to accept this. <laughs> okay. All right. So, can I have advice when it comes to my Capricorns for the highest best good for the best possible outcome? Now until the end of April, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. Okay, Capricorn, let's take a look. All right, listen to the sign, pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to the signs. Look, you have the freedom to make any choice that you want, right? You're very, you know your value and your worth. It says make a decision. You don't have to make anything, you don't have to make anything happen here, okay? You have all the resources that you need. So have the courage to ask for some, what you want and stand your ground, okay? You don't have to feel bad about this because that's what it seems like. It seems like there is a sense of guilt tripping you. Like, you know, Capricorn, you're really good at this. You really can help out with this situation. You know, it'd be great. We could partner up. We could collaborate on this. But you get a little bit overwhelmed because of it. So, you know what? You already know that that's gonna be a factor here. You guys have the hindsight of knowing. Then, you know, you can stand your ground now so that you don't have to, to, to deal with all that and then back out later. So, but of course, you guys, you have to do what you feel is best for you in your highest best good. We're only supposed to be here as guidance, okay? All right, so, can I advise my Capricorns when it comes to what they need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that could help them? Now until the end of April, show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so get ready for something you're not expecting, Capricorn. All right, stay grounded. <laughs> you are about to be more happy than you realize. <laughs> okay, so I told you guys, let the good times roll, all right? 
All right, my beautiful Capricorns, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's see who made it to the end of this reading, okay? I want to find out who resonates with this message. Put happiness in the comments below. Get ready to accept your happiness right now, Capricorn. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.